The planners of the Whistler Nordic venue in pristine Callahan Valley near Whistler, BC, had sustainability in mind long before the first machinery arrived. Larger than necessary setbacks to protect habitats, protecting species at risk, and closing the loop on wood waste. Traditionally, clearing land for development meant burning or burying non-marketable materials. Both adversely affect the environment, often resulting in pollution of air and water. Denbo is a British Columbia leader in organics management. They specialize in erosion and sediment control, revegetation and slope stabilization using organics. Denbo has developed an on-site program that utilizes land clearing materials, traditionally viewed as waste, to produce high quality erosion, sediment control and revegetation products. Denbo's manager of landscape and environmental services, Jared Taylor. You see this material here, it's a glacial marine uh, clay or till, um, very fine and as soon as it gets wet it just liquefies and you can see the rills. Um, what's happening is water is coming off of the, the surface on the top and it's forming rills and an undercutting on its way down. It's very interesting to look um, on sites where vegetation has been removed um, and then look at the, the undisturbed areas. And if we look up here, this is an undisturbed area and, and what you're seeing on the top is actually called the O horizon of the soil, the O or organic horizon. And that's made up of uh, tree branches and leaves and roots, really compost material that's uh, decayed, fallen and decayed naturally. And uh, if you look in contrast to a spot right here where the material was removed, you just have you know, this kind of gravelly till material. What we're seeing here is actually sedimentation and actually where the sediment is dropping out of the stream of water and, uh, and being deposited in, the, in this basin. And this material is, is uh, you know, very, very loose and, and very fine material. And this is really what causes problems to, uh, to waterways. It's very costly to maintain, to, to clean out the ditches and that type of thing, and, and harmful for aquatic life. Doug Ewing is the project manager for the Whistler Nordic venue. I think the driving force behind going with the compost blanket, with the eco blanket, uh, was twofold. One is we had some very steep slopes we had to control for erosion, and there's not many natural products that you can put on those slopes to control it. The other deciding factor was again coming back to what we thought was environmentally right to do. Dr. Hubert Tamenga is a soil scientist specializing in beneficial use of organic waste and creating solutions based on the convergence of planning, regulations and technologies. In the province of British Columbia, the Ministry of Environment regulates composting and the building of composting facilities. Companies that would like to use compost as erosion control would be looking for different factors. One of the factors is, is the material of suitable quality for what they were doing. The other factor would be, uh, is the, co the compost made in a way that is sustainable and is uh, good for the environment? What we've got going on is um, basically in-vessel composting. The Polyflex Ag Bag system is uh, an in-vessel composting system that is very simple in nature. It essentially takes compostable material, puts it into a con controlled environment, and speeds up the composting process. In the case of egg bag, there's a large environmental benefit that the leachate doesn't have to be controlled because there isn't any generated. Denbo operates a fleet of express blowers, which enables them to evenly distribute the compost material over steep slopes and hard to reach areas. As the compost is blown, seed, fertilizer and tachyfier are electronically injected into the growing medium. This method of seeding is proven to be extremely effective as the seed is planted rather than applied topically, where it is exposed to the elements. So one of the greatest challenges a seed company faces, as well as an erosion control contractor faces, is the variability in the site. As you move through an area, the moisture, content, the shade, the slope, the makeup of the natural mineral soils, those sort of things change dramatically through the site. When we prescribe a seed mix, 
we try to prescribe a seed mix that's going to be the most suited to the area. With the addition of the compost through the terrace seeding process, we're putting material on the slope that is going to hold more moisture and it's also going to provide an insulating layer for the seeds as they establish and protect the roots as they establish. Uh, this is a slope that was uh, recently treated with compost blanket material. You can see what's happening here is it's just re totally replacing the uh, the organic layer of soil that naturally occurs. And uh, so you can see the seed inside that's been taking. Uh, you can see the chunks of material that actually kind of weave together. And um, and this slope is stable. Uh, even though it's not 100% vegetated, it's, it's stable and the erosion has been stopped. It was actually our geotechnical engineer that recommended the use of this. And when we sat down with Denbo and went through the properties and what actually the material could do, specifically around the erosion control. We were very happy with it and the product is proving itself out. But we chose to do things that are different than normally you do in a civil based construction with wood waste. Um, my impression so far is it's exactly as we hoped. It's getting a lot of attention. We did the right thing from the environmental point of view. We've reduced burning. We've uh, provided a product that makes the site look like it's been here for the last 20 years. It has to be conceived of right from the beginning of the project when you're actually clearing the project. And instead of burning, which is the, one of the first things you do, you actually got to be chipping and, and starting to store, store the material. So coming back to timing, planning, uh, storage, um, are all parts of the barriers that we looked at. Then I guess the other barriers is people's perception, is it worth the cost? and is it worth the extra effort to go through. I'm, I'm hoping that at the end of the day this project will prove itself out, that uh, it is a worthwhile thing to do. I'm sure it is. Personally, I know it is. And uh, for, the, for the rest of the people, I guess the proof is in the pudding when they see the slopes greened up and no sediment going into any of the creeks or, or uh, into the ditches and things like that. Thank you.